Let's discuss part 9 next. What does part 9 say? Express in the form a plus ib and we are given a complex number raised to power 3. Okay. So let's simplify this with the help of with the help of a plus b power 3. A plus b whole cube. Let's use this identity over here. A plus b whole cube. What is this equal to? This is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. This is what the identity looks like. Right? So let's use that and simplify this expression. This is a plus b whole cube. What will they simplify to? This is a cube plus 3a square b. Yes? Plus 3a b square. Yes, can you please observe that? Yes. And plus the last term, what is that? 3i power 3, that is b cube. This is what it will be getting. Let's simplify this. This becomes 1 by 3 power 3, which is 1 by 27. What is 3 cube? 3 cube is 27. Yes. Plus. There is a 3. There is a 3 square in the denominator. Okay. And there is a 3 again in the numerator. Do you observe that 3 into 3 in the numerator you will be getting a 9. And the denominator will also be a 9. So this is actually 9 over 9 i plus. What is this? This is 3 times 3 square. Which is? 27 in the numerator and in the denominator you have a 3 times i square. What next? This is 3 cube times i cube which is 27 i cube. Okay. What is i square equal to? i square is simply equal to minus 1. We already know that and this will become a real part which will get added with this 1 by 27 over here. Let's bring them together minus 27 by 3 and 27 by 3 can further be done as 9 only right so let's simplify this and write it as 27 by 3 is simply 9 i hope that's okay right plus i i times 9 by 9 is 1 okay and what is this equal to i cube there's a i square hidden in that this is i square into i i square becomes minus so this is minus 27 times i this is 1 minus 27 that's what you get, right? Can we simplify it further? Yes, the real part has to be simplified first. The real part. What is that real part? We'll have to take the LCM in this case, right? Let's take the LCM of this real part. 1 by 27 minus 9. In the denominator, you'll have a 27. This is 1 minus 9 into 27. Now, what is that? Ooh. Do you remember this? Yes. Remember this? We remember something called powers of 3. Let's recall the powers of 3. 3 power 1 is simply 3. 3 power 2 is simply 9. 3 power 3 is 27. Now most of you remember this much. But then do you remember it further? Let's say 3 power 4. What is it equal to? This is 81. 3 power 5 is 243. And at least up till 3 power 6. 3 power 6 is 7. 2, 9, yes. And there's a special thing about 7 to 9. 7 to 9 is 9 cube is 7 to 9. 27 square is also 7 to 9. And both of these things are obtained with the help of this 3 power 6. Right? 9 cube is 7 to 29. 27 square is also 7 to 29. So in terms of squares and cubes, when you memorize the squares and cubes, there also you get this number 7 to 29, which is actually 3 power 6. Here, what did we require? We required 3 power 3 into 3 power 2, which is actually 3 power 5. 3 power 5 is 243, simply 243. Right. So that's the real part. Plus i times minus 26. So what do you get? This is minus 242 upon 27 and minus 20 plus i minus 26. Leave it in this form. This is a plus ib form of this complex number. We have simplified this whole thing, this whole thing in this manner and obtained this result. Right? That is the final answer for this question. Yes?